In this video we will be looking at iteration. So iteration is basically a process used to produce a sequence of numbers. Now if you have a look at this first example, the way we do it is we get given an equation, so x n plus 1 equals 3 x n minus 1. We get given a starting value of x0 equals 2, and they've asked us to produce x1, x2, and x3. Now this notation can seem quite confusing to a lot of people, so let me explain it. So when we have x0, we know that that equals 2. So for the first iteration that we're going to complete, let's let n equal 0. So notice if you sub these in here, when n is 0, xn is going to be x0, and we know that x0 is 2. So that means that we have to use the x0 they've given us, multiply it by 3, take away 1, and if n is 0 here, that is going to give us x1. So that's exactly what we're going to do first. So we know that x1 is going to equal 3 lots of x0 minus 1. Now, again, we know that x0 is 2, so we can say x1 equals 3 multiplied by 2 minus 1, and that's going to give us 6 minus 1 is 5. So x1 equals 5. Now, to work out x2, we do exactly the same thing, but rather than using x0 again, we now use our new x1, because n now is 1. So previously, n was 0. This time, n equals 1. So xn is going to be x1, and xn plus 1 is going to be x2. So x2 is going to equal 3 lots of the 5 that we've just got, minus 1. And 3 times 5 is 15, take away 1 is 14, so that's going to be our x2. And hopefully by this point you understand the concept. But to work out x3, so now n can equal 2, and xn plus 1 is going to be the 3 that we want to work out. So we need to do 3 multiplied by the 14 we just got, take away 1. 3 times 14 is 42, take away the 1 gives us 41. So our new sequence of numbers is going to be 2, 5, 14, 41. And that's our final answer. So this is the next example, and we need to find x2 and x3. And we are given this time two variables. So we're given x0 and x1. And we need to use the equation xn plus 2 equals xn plus 1 all squared plus 2xn. Now, this time, again, let n equal 0, and let's see what we can do. So if n is 0, this xn is going to be x0. This xn plus 1 is going to be x1 this time, because 0 plus 1 makes 1. And this one is going to be x2. So we need to use x0 and x1, sub them into the equation, and it will give us x2. So ultimately, x2 is going to equal x1 squared plus 2 lots of x0. Now we are given those two values here, so we're going to use those. So x1 is 4, square that, plus 2 lots of the 3. That's going to give us 16 plus 6. So our final answer is 22. Now we also need to work out x3. So again, pause the video if you want, give it a go for yourself first. But it's going to be a very similar concept. So this time, our xn plus 1 is going to be x2. And our xn is going to be x1. So we multiply that by 2. So this time, we need to use our x2 that we just worked out, 22. And our x1 is the 4 that they gave us in the question. So that's 2 multiplied by 4. Now 22 squared, slightly harder one, is 484. And 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. So our final answer for that one is going to be 492. So all in all, the sequence we've produced is 3, 4, 22, 492. Just like that. And again, this is a harder example. Typically for the level 6, maybe level 7 candidates. But as long as you can understand the process of iteration, you will have no problems at all. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope that helped.